topic green jobs everybody talks about green but is it also going to provide a job that's an ultimate question so this week we are going to learn how job opportunities can be created even when you are expertise in the green sector so this week we are going to focus on three major sectors one is the renewables second one is the energy storage third one is electric vehicles let's focus first one renewables india has an over ambitious target of 175 gigawatt installed capacity by the year 2022 december right so which means hardly about 18 months to go and as of now we have about 90 gigawatt installed capacity which means almost we have to double our installed capacity in next 16 17 months and if you take wind we have 40 gigawatt of installed capacity which has to be ramped up to 60 gigawatt in 16 months if you took up pv we have an installed capacity of about 42.5 gigawatt which has to be ramped up to 100 gigawatt that means we have to double more than double the installed capacity of pv so there is an obviously an amazing opportunity which is available in the green sector so for that what the students has to learn so go to the google just simply search solar jobs quickly find out how many jobs which are coming similarly take some simulation softwares which are used to design solar plant design search how many jobs which is available if you know that software you can easily learn the simulation softwares and you can look at the organizations those who are working in the simulation softwares and you can apply for an internship and if you can showcase your talent getting a job in core companies is not really extremely difficult call. so when the college students and the academic community looks getting a job is extremely impossible on the other side the industry is also struggling for the right talents so based on my personal experience transforming thousand plus college students from the college campus to the great mncs in the core sector hardcore sector the only key takeaway for what i have learned is the students those who are working with the goal and developing their soft skills are able to easily enter into the core companies well within uh, before they are coming out from the college campus so start learning some simulation software related to this core sector then apply for an internship show your performance go for an internship prove your performance get a job there so let's focus more into the first topic renewables which i further split into pv wind biomass small hydro and so on and so forth pv has an amazing potential as we have seen this capacity installed capacity from beginning till date we have installed only 42.5 gigawatt but we have to install additional 57.5 gigawatt in next 16 17 months to meet our target by december 2022 so looking at this there are plenty of opportunities available in terms of manufacturing like if you take solar panel manufacturing inverter manufacturing, transformer manufacturing, cable manufacturing so whatever may be the accessories which are needed for the solar plant there is a great opportunity available in the manufacturing sector similarly there is an opportunity available in the design sector, engineering sector, operation and maintenance and even commercial evaluation of power plants is amazing opportunity which is available with respect to those sectors so I am just giving an idea like what are the list of companies those who are into the inverter manufacturing like top 5 inverter manufacturing companies in the world now you can look at the top 10 solar panel manufacturing in the globe. So this are some list and you can also look at from the IRE India website, their International Renewable Energy Agency. Those who are providing the statistics of how many jobs which are available in the renewable sector for the past few years and like how they are projecting for the future. And let's move to uh, wind. When you go to the wind, you have again like there are plenty of options like wind turbine generator, grid interconnection studies, power system analysis, there are, there are plenty of opportunities, right? So you can take companies like Vesta, Suslon, Gamesa, again the list of top 10 list of I mean, companies also I mean, so say, there which you can look at. And moving from the first topic, renewables, to the second topic, energy storage. So far we have focused, keep focusing on the renewable, renewable, renewable. But renewable has an amazing opportunity but it has its own challenge. The biggest challenge is its intermittent in nature. So when it is intermittent in nature, how you are going to manage this inconsistent generations when there is a fluctuation in the load. So energy storage is the only option. So it was not really, I mean, commercially attractive about 
few years back. But the continuous reduction in the lithium ion batteries and probably the research in hydrogen, green hydrogen, there are, there are plenty of keywords which is probably you can look at. And the future looks very, very optimistic and the energy storage market is going to be another amazing market where you can learn the skills in battery energy storage systems, microgrids, etc., which is a second important area where the students can I mean, develop their skills to get a job. I'm coming to the third one, electric vehicles. If you look at five years back or ten years back, electric vehicle is expensive. But now, if you look at even a two-wheeler, the cost of electric vehicle is almost equal to your petrol vehicles and the running cost is one-tenth of your petrol vehicles. So, definitely EV becomes commercially attractive, at least in the two-wheeler segment even now, and it is going to continue the trend because petrol price is going up and it is pollution, right? So, electric vehicle is going to rule the world at least for next 20, 30 years. Considering all this, what the students has to put in their resume to get a dream job in core companies? Answer is quite simple. At least two important key terminologies which has to be there in your resume. One is PE, other one is EV. This two, if it is there in your resume, then getting a job is easy. But is the keywords alone sufficient? Answer is no. For that, what the students has to develop is they have to understand the basics of this renewable sector or energy storage sector or the sectors like the electric vehicle. So there are plenty of websites which are available. If you take Indian grid operation perspective itself, you have power grid, you have POSAPO, you have load dispatch centers, you have central electricity authority, you have uh, power exchange. So there are, there are plenty of websites which are available where you can get the real times and probably quite a lot of events and their reports which are available. So the description below which you can look at quite a lot of links which is useful link where you can develop this space. That, that's the one. Second one, you need to probably start using some basic simulation softwares like ETA for power storm studies. Maybe Dixel and Power Factory again for power storm studies. PV Syst for a solar plant design. Diabex for a lighting design. Homer Pro for a microgrid design. These are small simulation softwares which are available. I at least their demo version is available and that link is also given in the description box which you can look at. So you can start practicing these tools. You can start practicing these tools so that you can at least apply for an intensive in MNCs when you are finishing your 6th semester in 3rd year. So, if you look at this opportunity, then what you need to do, once you apply for an intensive, apply for proper profile with the company objectives and what is the skill which you can fill so that the company can utilize you potentially. If you go there and probably you will be learning further and none of the companies nowadays ready to lose a potential, potential candidates. So develop your skills, get an amazing opportunity. I also as a part of this invite all the faculties to focus beyond the curriculum, look at what's going on in the real sectors and look at how your students can be employed. So I wish you good luck for all the students to get a green job that is not only green but also clean. Wish you all the best. Have a great day. Thank you.